this is the dumbbell deltoid death circuit. So this circuit's designed around training your shoulders and trying to create a hypertrophy, so muscle building training effect, just purely around the accumulation of volume and metabolites. We're gonna be focusing on the lateral deltoids, the posterior deltoids, and then finally an overall deltoid workout. You can do this in straight sets or you can do it as a circuit. I personally find it better using it as a straight set type of workout. It'll take you a little bit longer, but you'll get a better training effect for each set. You will get a sick pump though if you do more on a circuit. So the first one is lateral dumbbell raise. I've actually found this one to be really good when done at home if you don't have a proper bench, to be done really well in what's called the tall kneeling position. This position here allows you to get a little bit of hip extension training, a little bit of core training, and not compensate throughout the exercise. So we grab the dumbbells, kick the hips forward. What you're gonna do is kick dumbbells just slightly off the hips, that's a perfect angle, and then push out to the side, Hold, lower down under control. So for the elbow in this one, you want to keep a slight bend in the elbow. Have the dumbbells come slightly forward based on your shoulders. Not often going to be directly out to the side. Slightly forward, what feels the most comfortable for you, the most amount of deltoid stimulation. Hold, and down. You want to do that for around 12 repetitions. Now the dumbbell row, rear delt row, this is the target rear delt. So what we want to do is make sure we get the right angle. If we pull back from here, we're going to not really target rear delt. When we pull here, we're going to get the lat. It's kind of pulling back at around that 45 degree angle. If you put your hand on your shoulder and push back, you'll feel a lump of muscle come underneath. That's the angle that you want to get. We just need to change your torso relative to, to gravity to make sure we stimulate that muscle. So from here, bend over. I'll brace in front and I'll pull that dumbbell out at that angle. Hold for one second, back down. Same cues apply for normal strength training. We brace the core, we keep everything working tight, pull the elbow out to the side, and feel the back of the shoulder doing that work. Keeping this one is not to squeeze your shoulder blade first. It's not really going to give any extra benefit to the exercise, and it's going to overload the scapular muscles rather than the shoulder. Now the final exercise is the Arnold press. We can do this in tall kneeling as well. So with the Arnold press, two dumbbells, get in that position again, Start in the top position of a curl. From here, you're going to bring your elbows out to the side. As wide as you can, rotate, press up. Come down, out wide, bring them in and together. A lot of people will start this just by twisting, pressing straight up. That's not going to stimulate the lateral deltoid. If we bring the elbow out to the side, it becomes a lot more like a lateral raise, and we, that's what we're trying to really get. So lateral raise up, press and rotate. Down, lateral raise in. Lower raise out to the side, press, come back down. You'll do that with two dumbbells. So guys, sets and reps are all listed in the app. Any questions, let me know.